Hi, it's Mr. C here from Dividend. In this video, we're going to discuss the contact form Divi Layout Kit, uh, how to install it on your site. So let's go and have a quick look at the files that you would have downloaded. So we've got uh, five modules in total. We've got a code for functions.php file, which we'll discuss. We have the Divi contact form kit PSD, which allows you to make edits and updates, uh, quite useful for many people. Then we also have the master Divi contact form CSS file and the JSON file. We've split it up into sections so that it's easy for you to just import a particular module if that's the one that you want. Alternatively, you might have a, a demo site and you want to import all of them in one go and then just delete the ones that you don't want. Either way, we've made it easy for you. So let's get started. Let's go to our dummy site. So we're on the dashboard. We want to go to Divi, Divi library, and then let's go and hit the import button, import again. Then let's find the file on our computer. Let's go to the JSON file that we want one that we want to import and then click import the modules. Let it do its thing. Wait for it to load. And there we go. That's all of them. So the next thing we want to do is install them on a page so that we can have a look at them and then look at the CSS styles and what needs to be done. So Let's go and create a page. We'll just call it a dummy page. This would be the Divi contact module. Oops. Right, uh, use the Divi builder, yes. And then I'm gonna pick a blank template so that there's no header and footer, uh, displays it better for you. Then I'm gonna click add from library and then I'm gonna add these modules. I'm just going to start with one and then I'm going to pause so that you don't have to watch me importing them. We've got them all imported now. So let's go to the top, hit publish. So let's take a look at the page in a new window, new tab. So there we go. We've got one, two, three, four and five different ones but there's no styles or rollovers or anything. And for that, we need to go and add the CSS styles. So we want to navigate to the dashboard, Divi and theme options, go to the custom CSS box right at the bottom. There it is. Now we want to navigate to the file, which is the master Divi contact form uh, CSS. So just open that in your favorite editor. There we go. And then we can go control A, control C. Let's copy that and paste it in to the box and let's click save changes. Now we can go and reload the page, control shift R and all our styles should be there. There we go. When we click in it, oh, we're missing a little bit of something. And the reason for that is we need to go and add further code to the functions.php file, which gives the really nice effects that you would have seen already. So to do that, we go back to theme options again. Uh, depending on who your hosting company is, whether you have uh, managed hosting or but you might have a plugin installed, which prevents this option, the editor option, from showing in your dashboard, um, you may have to update these files via FTP. So have a look, go to, go to the dashboard appearance and editor. If you see the editor there, then we can follow these steps. If you don't see it there, you want to go via FTP login and go and find this file. In particular, we're looking for the functions.php file and you're looking for the functions of your child theme. If you update in the main Divi theme, those will get overwritten when you update. So uh, do it in your child theme. So there we go, child theme selected. Then we want to go to theme functions. There it is. And now what we want to do is go and grab the code, which will be inside this text file. It's called code for functions.php. Again, open that in your favorite editor. 
then uh, let me just quickly explain these here so uh, the first set is for the focus action that you have on the form when you click on it uh, those nice little effects and then the second one that we have here is the anti-spam email code for uh, email addresses when you list an email open that's not obfuscated on a, a website there's crawlers that crawl your site spam bots that grab that email address and puts you onto a spam list wordpress provides functionality which you need to add into your functions.php which allows you to add these short codes which is this one over here it's uh, email uh, followed by a closing slash email if you wrap your email addresses anywhere in your site with those two tags it will prevent the spam bots from grabbing that email address now we've done this for you and you can add it in the thing you want to make sure for you would probably know if you already have this code in your functions.php file you don't want to add it twice because if you do it uh, it will appear broken when you try and load the site it won't load if that's the case again log in via ftp and just make sure that you don't have this code added twice so i'm just going to copy all of this control a control c i remember this line is what is it there uh, href mail to anti-spam bot that's the um, code that we're looking for so i'm just going to do this to make sure that we don't have duplicates um, and then let's have a quick look through this because i think we might have it there ourselves probably i've removed it but let's just make double sure this is what you be, you'd be doing uh, anti-spam email shortcode there you can see it's actually there so we do want to remove that we're just going to grab this bit all the way down to add shortcode email codex hide it so i'm just going to delete that then we're going to add the code that we've already copied so we double sure um, very important with the functions.php file always leave this closing tag over here it might look broken but it's not and make sure to never add any spaces on the bottom of this absolutely critical if you save it and your site doesn't load that's probably where the problem is so just revert, revert the code or come back and have a look and sh make sure that there's no extra spaces in the bottom of the functions.php file so let's update this guy then we can go back to this page and if we do Control shift r reload this page now our actions are there fantastic great so we've got this and you'll notice name at website is over here as well so that's turned into a mail to and this email address is now protected you can also use it now through the rest of your site so in content if you have any uh, email addresses that are listed there you can just wrap it in those uh, short codes and the email address will be protected right so the next thing we want to do is go and change some colors uh, because you may not want these colors for your client. Um, in fact, I'm sure you don't want it. What we've done is we've kept it quite simple. Uh, we've kept the same color for absolutely everything, which makes it easy for you to find and replace. So first we want to do the CSS files um, and update that color in there. And then you want to go to the individual modules and double check if the colors haven't changed the way that you want then the rest of the settings will be found in the module settings where you can then go and change the colors so let's go to the css file and update that so let's navigate to the css file in uh, the editor and um, then you'll see in the top we've already listed the color it's called the default red color to replace anywhere in the css so you can just copy that one um in fact uh, that's the one we want to replace i've already chosen a color previously and that's the divi purple so i'm just going to grab that because that's the one we want to search and replace so let's switch then we want to highlight this one we want to go control find yes that's the one we want to find yes we want to replace with that color there we go 
So I'm just going to go find next. Um, and then from there, I want to hit replace, 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 replace. You just want to go through all of them until they're all replaced. And then we can wrap. Let's go back to the top. And that should be all the colors done with the new color. Fabulous. So control A, control C, copy that. And then we want to go back to theme options and scroll to the bottom. Go to where the custom CSS is. Control A, delete, control V, paste that guy. Let's click save changes. Now we can go back to this module, control shift R. And in theory, some of them would be updated as you can see, but it's not exactly perfect. Uh, that means we need to go into each of the modules to update that individually. So let's go and do that to get it all set up. We'll do one as an example. So let's go edit page, open in a new tab. And then we can go to the first module. So call to action. This should be fairly simple. Um, you can just look over there, see if anything's there. And then advanced colors. Here you can see there's the first one. That's the color we want to change. So let's go and grab that Divi purple. Copy. And then paste it in here. And then we just keep searching through the rest of the settings to see if we have any other um, maroon or red color. However you see that. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, so we can save. And then we want to go to the contact form and do the same. So you want to scroll down here, see if you see that color. Nope. Advanced settings. Let's keep scrolling. Ah, there it is. Replace that one. Okay. Keep looking a bit further. Yeah, see there we have a, another color, which is a hover. I'm just going to replace that. This is about in the middle. I'm going to replace it there and then you can just come back and move it to about the same. That will be the hover color. There we go. Now we can save and then we can update. So let's have a look then. Switch back, control shift R and there you go. All updated to purple. You'll notice if we make it smaller as well for the responsive and it snaps nicely. Uh, this is all uh, sometimes uh, within responsive. You can only update it in the CSS. That's the reason I chose the CSS file uh, to change the colors first there and then come back to do the rest in the actual module. So that's how you change the colors. You add the uh, CSS code the way that you need it done, uh, search and replace, and then also add the actions to your functions.php file. Uh, and that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.